For, they say that it, for people, it, for most people, it's a long time between drinks. Well, with me, it's a case of a long time between all of us, because 36 years after I did it at the Playhouse, I'm about to do it again. <laughs> and uh, it's a, one of those parts that is so, a, a tiny five-minute role. And I shall accumulate a life, I shall concentrate a lifetime of learning into those role, that role, that revival. And that is a rather roundabout way of answering your question. When I play those tiny roles all these years later, that's when I know I've made it. That's when I know I own the stage and I don't borrow it. I was born on the 29th of May. My name's Ivan King. I was born in Midland, neath the shadow of the Midland Town Hall clock. My family were Midland railway pioneers. They came to Midland with the, uh, with the Midland workshops. And uh, five, about three generations of my family learnt to be tradesmen there. My father's side of the family, they were a bunch of bushwhackers who came out of the Jolton I beg your pardon, not the Jordan, the uh, Moora Plains. And uh, we trace them back to the family name of de Courcy back to the 1880s. My gorgeous mum was a dressmaker. My father was a labourer. You go into London court these days and uh, you come up from this in George's Terrace End and just before you go out into the Hay Street, you look up and in that stucco is the 1938 style of graffiti. My father was standing on the scaffold beside the plasterer who, if you look very carefully, uh, carved his name Burford 1937 into that stucco and it's still there. And it gives me such a sense of belonging to Perth. You know, I stand there and I have my land rights too. I was in the initial Australian production of West Side Story, for instance, and that's very interesting. Um, <clears throat> the music of West Side Story is now a modern classic. You go to the Perth Concert Hall to hear to hear West Australian Symphony do the West Side Story Suite and I cast my mind back to the Tivoli Theatre in Sydney when I can still see a couple of classical musicians, in fact more than a couple, quite a few of them objected to the fact that they were sitting in the pit playing all this modern stuff, <laughs> West Side Story, if those same musicians could come back now. And I told the story of my grandfather, the renown in Midland, and one of my treasured memories of him was on Sunday mornings going up and up and up and up and up the stairs to bring down these huge heavy tin crates of film you know one after the other one after the other and they because of the the, 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 the film stock of the time they were bloody heavy and he went up and down up and down so that they could be collected by the distributor on Monday morning and I said <clears throat> if my grandfather could come back now and be part of this ceremony and if you told him he could take gone with the wind home in his pocket he wouldn't believe you so that, i can remember my first show i saw a, a pantomime i think it was cinderella in a ratty old hole over north of the line and for me it was all glitz and glamour you know as a five and i loved it loved it i loved the color and the movement as dame edna says and Frank Baden-Powell, who was an entrepreneur at the time in the theatre uh, uh, restaurant circuit, music hall circuit, uh, shoved me into the old Civic Theatre in Inglewood. You know the one where the bend is with the tower? Uh, beyond the Astor. I spent three years there in a theatre restaurant called uh, Diamond Lil's Wild West Saloon, you know, mock gambling and everything. And I played Cecil the Sexy Sheriff to Joan Sidney's Diamond Lil. And while we were there, we were instrumental in the liquor laws being changed in the city. Because up until then, 
it, 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 the liquor laws were absolutely absurd. You could drink as long as it was ancillary to a meal. So you could have a plate of day old sandwiches with one bite taken out of them, but as long as they were on the table, you could ha have your grog. That Frank Baden Powell was an absolute uh, agitator, a, a, an activist for the matter, and he <clears throat> pointed out the absurdity of it all, and and actually uh, almost shamed the authorities into changing the uh, the 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 drinking hours in this city. I mean, I was there in the middle of it all. I won't tell you about the raids, <laughs> and there was a raid. And there was Cecil, the sexy sheriff, in the middle of it all. <laughs> I mean, his, his fake stage gun was of very little use for that raid, you know, when the cops arrived. 